Dion having a rough week, man. <laughs> yeah, his girl, his, his 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 girl done jumped in the portal, man. She done jumped in the portal, man. I know y'all gonna be watching. Um, <laughs> I know y'all gonna be watching. Um, Whitlock, man. <laughs> Like crazy, man. I know he's gonna go. <laughs> he was talking about that man's son. I know he's gonna talk about this shit, man. This shit gonna be hysterical, man. Golly, man. See, I like Dion, man. I like Dion. Salute the run, Dad. He says, I think most sons are good, but it's not my life. <laughs> Yeah, like, listen, man. Like, for instance, Dion, right? Yo, he's getting so much support from Sun people, right? Sons love this guy, man. Yo, Sons love this guy like he's a fucking god. Trust me. I'm, I've am i been following him since Jackson State, right? I've been following Dion since Jackson State. Well, you know, just as a coach. Yo, even when he was at Jackson State, HBCU, none of their games was on TV. Well, I would go in the um on YouTube and you know, some people upload the streams illegally. They upload the stream with the game on YouTube. And it's like a bunch of channels, and some of them get taken down midstream, and you gotta switch to another channel. And I would be watching his games when he was at Jackson State. There'd be 10,000 people in there watching the game on one channel. Another channel got 8,000. Another channel got 15,000. And then now when he moved to Colorado, man, I watch his games on my phone. Because my sister, my um, my daughter, she got the TV. So my daughter, she, 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 she if the TV on, it got to be cartoons. Which, you can't watch nothing to rap but call cartoons around my daughter on TV. She thinks the TV is her personal thing. So I'll be watching them on my phone on YouTube. Man, it'd be streams where 60,000 people in the fucking building on one YouTube channel watching Dion play, man, Dion's team play. And simultaneously, it'd be another channel with 20,000, another one with 45,000, all going on at one time watching the games on YouTube channels. And that ain't, and none of that counts towards the ratings. Like when they talk about how many people watch the game, they only talking about TV. They not talking about all the people watching it on YouTube. Yeah, but yeah, Dion's girl, they, they, she left him, man. Been a rough week, man. Dion got a lot of support from some people, man. But one thing I don't like about Dion, what he did earlier, this was one thing that I didn't like about him. He talked a lot about haters and shit. Haters, people who don't believe. You don't believe. You don't believe, man. He got so many black guys believe in him, man. Just dial, just put Colorado football in the search bar one day when you're on YouTube. It's so many dudes that have created channels based on Colorado football that never knew anything about college football before last year. Before Dion got there, they never even knew Colorado football existed. Now you got a hundred YouTube channels. Now I will say this. I will say this and continue to pound that like button. Those Dion has created a whole YouTube industry where a lot of people are getting paid. If you cover Colorado football, you can make your little videos every day and get you're gonna get views. You're gonna get views. Make your little videos every day, and you can make your little, you know, couple thousand dollars, five, ten thousand dollars a month. Or maybe even three, three, four, five, ten thousand dollars a month. Cause Colorado football gets views. So Dion, it's a symbiotic relationship. Dion has made a lot of these little YouTubers 
I wouldn't call them little YouTubers, but small YouTubers, a, a lot, he's paying a lot of bills for those guys. Simultaneously, they're pushing his brand and keeping him relevant to where he's the most, Colorado is more relevant. Nobody even cares about the playoffs. Nobody cares about none of that shit. Everybody cares about Colorado. Who they get, who, who they get, da, 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 da. Now it is. Who they recruit. So Dion, yeah, Dion, man, he um I wish he'd talk about the love more because he got a lot of love, man. A lot of dudes, a lot of sun words love Dion, man. God dog. A few of them hate him though. Let's see this. While we talking about it, let's see this. Jackson. And he started pulling Ed Reed and Randall Cunningham and all these ex all these ex NFL greats to these HBCUs. They're going to steal our money. This is a billion dollar empire. We cannot afford for the HBCU to steal all the top tier athletes because there will be a reversal of power in D1 sports. This is what they said. And they oh, said, no. we know Dion ain't the loyal type to the black community because he's the one who also criticized Colin Kaepernick for taking a knee. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to get the whitest school in the country to offer him some money to come teach them. Because he couldn't win someone. They were making a statement. Dion was sent to Colorado to make a statement that every one of them ninjas got a price. Find his and pay them all. You know what I think? I think... And <laughs> I love how black people see everything so linearly. They they see everything linearly. They don't they 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 even the smartest ones don't really understand nuance and dynamics and you know multiple factors. They don't see it in 3D. Even the smart ones see it linear, linearly. Press one. Access to power. What business or industry do we even control? We are two trillion dollar people. What brother. business or industry we do don't. we control? And that's the problem. And okay, we so what? All right. So his we access to school for the white. Ones. This access to power goes through Boulder, Colorado. Goes through the power structure. All this money Dion making for them. By the time he's done, he would have made far more for them than he earned from them. Not only that, God forbid That's everything. if he ever begin. But the point is, he shouldn't even be in that position because you had the chance to restructure an entire HBCU athletic system permanently. And you see, this is my thing about that. You can't help niggas. Dion would have been down there in Jackson State. Dion would have stayed in Jackson State. Do you understand? Jackson is the worst place to live in in the country niggas don't understand that shit look at these titles about about jackson jackson mississippi is the worst place i've ever seen why you should not move to jackson mississippi <laughs> A sad looking place, Jackson, Mississippi. <laughs> Inside Jackson, Mississippi's most dangerous move. Avoid this area <laughs> if you are located in Jackson, And we've done tons of videos on Jackson, Mississippi. No one covers, actually, no, no one covers Jackson more than we do on you. That's not, you know, a YouTuber. No one, no one covers a lot of cities more than we do. Top 10 reasons why Jackson, Mississippi is the worst city in the U.S. Jackson, Mississippi sucks. Two day interview. Okay, $40,000. Now, if you could say I could change that forty thousand to four hundred thousand dollars, 
would you just leave that forty thousand dollars, or would you go get four hundred thousand dollars? I'm gonna go get four hundred thousand. Is that not what Deion Sanders did? Mm -mm. Okay, what did Deion Sanders do? Uh, Deion son is a star quarterback that he's trying to get to the league, and he's fathering his son, he's fathering his son to the league with nobody else's children in mind. And he's getting a pretty big check to do it. And what he's doing is he's robbing black people of their star power. He's yeah. robbing black people of their economics because he done took it and gave it to the white man. Because the, 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 the space that you speak of, why not? Why not send it back there too? Why leave it here? Why the baby? Why Lil Wayne? Why all these major people don't go stand on the sideline of coaches that's not a celebrity? Why they don't do it to people who not celebrity? Because, Why? Because it's a symbiotic relationship. Let me drop the link. They get, they get, they're, they're entertainers. They have a brand. They get something from being next to Dion, and he gets something from being next to them. The kids think it's cool to have the baby and yellow beezy and uh all the fucking young rappers, um Key Glock and all them rappers on the sidelines. And D and 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 the rappers get I was on the sideline with <laughs> I was on the sideline with Dia. It's a symbiotic. Black folk don't understand symbiotic relationships, man. What's going on, man? Yo, what's the word? I, I ain't nothing, man. I'm hanging, man. What's new? Ah, oh, man, ain't nothing new, man. You know, I just been watching. Uh, the whole Dion situation is just it. Like some some people know what's up with the Dion thing, man. They be acting like they don't know, but. You know, what's we gotta up? act like what's up with we gotta it? act like we clueless. What's up with it? Dion chasing that bag, man. Dion Dion want his son in the league. And yep. he want the he want the fame again. He wanna be, you know what I'm saying? He wants to be in the in the limelight again. I ain't never seen a coach. Have you ever seen the entrance to the uh Colorado locker room? <laughs> Uh, I may have, um, but uh, refresh my memory. All right. So when they run, when they in the locker room, uh, instead of just uh, like Nike and whatever it is, the shit say Prime. <laughs> Everything say Prime. Everything say Prime. You know what I'm saying? Like where it would be like a Nike or a Colorado Buffalo or a Buffalo. Everything says prime can you imagine if alabama ran through a tunnel and on their way to the locker room everything says saving <laughs> come on man come on man like and you know what i'm saying i always tell you my daddy he woke as fuck so even my daddy think it's too much man because he he went through the whole process with me that's it's just like come on man like why did shit say prime? Well, let me show you something. Let me show you something that that that'll probably blow your mind. We got um, you said that was too much, right, Quick County? This is the commercial that plays during the games. You know how when every school got their commercial for their games, I mean, yeah, for, their, for their school, it's usually conference though, ain't it? No, they say welcome at Purdue. We have science and math. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is uh, on a little network. Okay. <laughs> you think it's too much, man? This is their this is their university commercial. Okay, so the whole school oh, is above the so, so they changed everything to prime. 
Yeah, everything. The whole prime location, prime teachers. Hey, I ain't gonna stunt though. If you ever, if you ever seen Boulder, Colorado campus, mm -hmm. it is prime. It is prime location, man. That shit is beautiful. Yeah, definitely. it's fucking amazing. I've been there. We played there. That shit is amazing. Um, okay, so they changed everything to prime. That's what yeah. he wants, though. But that's what he wants. Yo, yo, that's I what they want. <laughs> yo, I still think they racist, though. <laughs> yo, that's what they want, my man. That's not what. That is, don't get me wrong. It's a symbiotic relationship, man. They're getting a lot. Yo, this is this is not how schools do these commercials. They do it. They do it like this. They have a teacher talk, but they have a student, and they have um, some uh, alumni. You know what I'm saying? They'll do that, but it, this is different. Everything's about prime, 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 prime. Like you said. What would it be like if everything was about Saban? No, man. Saban is Saban doesn't have that personality. He don't have. It's one thing when you watch somebody grow up. Like we've seen Dion since he was eighteen years old at Florida State. So we've seen him grow up in front of our eyes into a man. You know what I'm saying? He played two sports, so you he was always in your face year round. You know what I'm saying? Saban is old when, when you guys see, see him. Yeah, so it's, it's different. Um, well, it's Colorado different. used to be a powerhouse in the 90s, too, so they're really trying to bring that program back, too. So yeah. that's a big factor yeah. in that, too. Yeah. And Colorado, Colorado, Colorado won, what, national title? 1990, I think, with the Cordell yeah, Stewart team. Yeah, No, yeah. no, that was that no, was, that was Cordell, Cordell Stewart. Cordell was well, he, he was a freshman during that year. Cordell, Cordell ended up – Cordell was – um. What else came after that team? No, no, I think, I think, he, were, I think he was a freshman that year, that national championship year, though. No, nah, I'm, 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 a, I'm a football I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure um, that, historian, that, man. I'm a that football won, historian. Uh, yeah, because he came that, to he came to the Phillies in '95, so I thought he was a freshman that year in '90, '90, '91. That was that nah, was that uh, was that uh, was uh, Eric Bieniemy. Yeah, Eric Bieniemy was on that team. Yeah. And the dude that won the fucking Heisman from uh, what was that? Like Lakeland? Not not Lakeland, but he was from Florida. They had the Florida guy. Yeah, well, Rashad Salam was in yeah. the, the Cardinals 13 too. That was in '94. Yeah, 95. that was later. But yeah. but anyway, 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 what, what I'm saying though is like they have yeah they haven't been up they haven't been relevant for for a long time in, in football. Um, but it's very interesting that people that you said is too much when their whole like university is based on him like. Now he's been there for one year, one year, and they've based everything around him. Prime teachers, oh, right. prime research, prime book, school books, prime everything. Yo, I, the, I think the thing between Saban and Prime, though, is that Saban just don't got, you know, he don't got soul. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, yeah, he, 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 and, and, he and like I said. Pop. I he think. hasn't been in our face. You gotta understand, Dion was a star in college. I think he was I a think star baseball player, star yeah, football yeah, yeah. player. But I think I think this though, and I know this as a son man and as a son man yourself, I you know when the shit has gone too far. And Dion know that it has gone too fucking far. That that commercial right there should have sent him over the edge and was like, oh shit. This shit has gone too fucking far. I know damn well. They just made a commercial talking about prime teachers and prime professors and prime this. And in my locker room, the head into it is prime that. And then I, I want to see the basketball locker room. That shit probably got prime this. Yo, oh, you nah, think he nah, doesn't nah. help? Hold on. You think he doesn't help land recruits? You think he don't make phone calls for the basketball coach? Like, yo, his his daughter plays yeah, on, his the, daughter's on the basketball squad. Yeah. Basketball team. So right. why you think he, why, why you think everybody was like he need a raise and all this shit already after the yo, know, dude? Do you understand? Nobody cares about this college playoff that's about to go on. The biggest news is gonna be Dion got a recruit. Dion lost this recruit. This coach left. Uh, his girlfriend jumped in the portal. Uh, da, 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 da. 
It's yo, I get that. Deal. I get that. I, I get that. I, but I swear to you, on these college campuses, bro, basketball stays in a lane and football stays in a lane. No, I, I got the, you. And these, and, these coaches, saying... and these coaches don't fuck with each other, in all honesty, because they in competition about who's supposed to get paid the most. Yeah, no, no, I, I got you. And I'm not saying that he's actively recruiting for the basketball team. All I'm saying is that, yo, if if he, he's he's – He's helping the profile of the school. Put it like that. Um, let's yeah, see what yeah, Charles do. Like, I get that. because I get this is what I know about black people: they worship and they idolize celebrities. That's why they are worshiping and idolizing Dion. They worship. They worship. They worship and idolize celebrities. And so I'm here to say, fuck them celebrities. From King Von to Nip, because when us regular people need uh when we need help, they don't come, they don't step down and come fuck with us. That ain't true. Man, I've been in the community for the last 12 years. Man, I know Dion lived in Prosper, Texas, Dallas, Texas. Dion was never there outside of his prime organization but football. That, but that's him there, though. I, but that's why I'm saying fuck him because no, I, I was in the community with him. I, I was at the football game with him. I watched how his arrogance walked past the parents and the kids. I saw how arrogant he was to his people. Mm -hmm. He ain't loving. Man I, done, man, I done fought with the police. I was at every city council meeting. So when the football and celebrity nigga go to talking, I said, man, y'all talking from up here. I'm talking from down here with these people. I'm in the schools. I'm in the juveniles. I'm in the jails. I'm in the prisons. I'm standing on stand swearing. Yeah, but Dion ain't got time for all that. He got he he too busy being Dion. If he don't be Dion, there's nothing. That, he got to be Dion for all the other shit to actually happen. Yeah, and, yeah, <laughs> and and then the fact that Charles and White saying this, and then he had go back and renege and say he had to be an ignorant, you know, what I'm saying n word to get y'all yeah. motherfuckers' attention. It's just kind of like you playing. Well, of course, your role. he's right about that though, because that's the only way you address our people, right? <laughs> but he playing his role, you know what I'm saying? And Dion yeah. had to play his role. Dion can't exactly. talk all that shit and talk about it's about the money and all this other shit. Make these songs and then come and this bitch and try to be a down to earth, personable person. That ain't the Dion we want to see. And what if he's not a down to earth person? What if he's a right. superstar? What if he's a celebrity? Yeah, he's a, yeah, exactly. That's what he is to look like. Because you got to understand, look, dude, do you understand what it takes to play in the major leagues? It's like, he's like a brand. He's, he's like I said, an A plus celebrity. He's not even an A lister. He's an A plus celebrity. You, do you, you really think so? You really, you really think like Deion Sanders is an A plus celebrity? Oh, without a doubt. Dude, do you, you understand? Grew up, you he, grew up in that. Like, all right, so I grew up after you. And to how, me. How old are you, man? Tell me how old are you. 32. Uh, okay. Like, so. You, so you, Dion, you, Dion, you were not born A plus. in 1991. So he not a Dion was a superstar in the early 90s. Must be the money, I'm man. Just saying, but I wasn't around. I wasn't. He's right, not an A right. plus celebrity to me. Nah, he's an A plus. My, he's an A plus celebrity the way Denzel was an A plus celebrity. No, you know how big man. Denzel was he, back in the Deion day. Deion Sanders was a factor. No, man. Like Deion was not an A plus celebrity in my childhood or in my fucking adulthood. Yeah, because when you were when you're ten years old, he was already retired. Bro, Correct. and that's what I'm saying. Bro, like in the Philippines, we don't we don't play football here, but we have uh, jerseys of uh, uh, Sanders even in the mid nineties. To the late uh, 90s, yeah. so he he's transcended more than just an athlete. He's a brand. They know him in the Philippines. We, we they, know him in here know. in the Philippines because he played both um, baseball and uh, 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 NFL. All right, wicked. Baseball. Come on, come wicked, wicked around my age. Wicked. It was Dion an A plus celebrity to you growing up? Mm, How old uh, are you? I'm gonna be honest, not really, too. Because I'm 35. I'm in my in my thinking. I'm relatively young. But I knew who he was. In your I, I knew, knew who he, he was. was, but he wasn't an A plus. No, 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 no. He is an icon. He but, is a sports icon let, because let he played two sports. Yeah. Let me just tell you this. Let me tell you this. Like, like for instance, you could be an A plus celebrity in your prime. In is somebody stirring tea? We got some goddamn get out shit going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this this is how you know. This is how you know Dion wasn't no celebrity in my like in my lifetime. 
I heard that fucking I I didn't know he was a rapper until I was grown, bro. Oh, hey, don't, hey, don't the British like the British guy? That's you. <laughs> hey, yeah, um, Alexander Barron. Did y'all know who Dion was over there? And um, no, I never heard of him. Okay, no, no, no. Play they, they, they play, play the different football out there. They play, yeah, they play football. Yeah, the, the real football. Play um, the no. Real football. No, no, the class. Okay. No, the class boxes. No, Lord. but here's my thing. Larry I'm not Holmes. saying every. I'm not saying every single person on the planet has to know who he was for the whole time. It's. Just, I'm trying to compare it to this, right? Let me just try to show, show it to you. LL Cool J, right? Take Never LL Cool J, right? No, no. LL Cool J was a rock star at one point. Now you know him from NCIS, right? You never could never him. imagine that he was a rock star at one point. So, so if you know, no, 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 no. I knew LL Cool J was the first like fucking rap sex symbol as a kid. I knew that. Dion, I I didn't know Dion as this fucking uh I didn't know Dion was Dion. I swear I didn't. And I was an athlete, a big time athlete. I grew up with a woke ass daddy that was an athlete, and I still wasn't indoctrinated to put Dion on a pedestal of a fucking. I mean, my first super superstar was what Kobe Bryant. So yeah, yeah, you're like okay, say, so you're coming different this. era. Yeah, T tell me this. Tell me this. As 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 a person who who grows up in the in the nineties, right? Can you name the, the the guy from your era who played Dion's position? Who 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 was the greatest person to play his position in your era? Darrell Revis, Revis Island. Right. No one knows who Darrell Revis is in the Philippines. Darrell Revis could go coach it. That's true. But I mean, but that's that's who that's who was the best corner then. Exactly. I'm telling you, and Dion, his Q rating is a gazillion times better, higher than fucking Darrell Revis is. Okay. All right. So, like, you gotta let's just take that. The the next guy. I, I will. I will take it. I'll take it because I. You know what I'm saying. On the list, at yeah, second on yeah. the list is so far. Even Tom Brady, you got Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning is close to Tom Brady. Dan Marino and Joe Montana are pretty close to Don Marino. At Dion's position, there's nobody in his stratosphere. And I mean, all but if you, the time he was doing that, he was also playing Major League Baseball, where I'm telling you, man, I, well, I was a baseball fanatic for growing up. If you make it to the Major Leagues, man, it's so fucking hard. It's harder to make it to the Major Leagues than it is to make it in any other sport. Triple A, double A are hard to that like, if you get there. Ba baseball is a failure sport. Outside the U.S. because not every country plays football there's a few uh there's only a few names like Marshawn Lynch Antonio Brown where you can you can see people in the Philippines wearing the jays and he's there. more famous than Martin Mar he Dion in his prime is more famous that was more famous than Marshawn Lynch and Antonio Brown combined and I'll yeah. give you that that they're famous but yes. he was more famous than both of them combined He's the first uh, defensive player ever in the NFL to have his own signature sneaker. Yeah. The and, character of uh, the character of, I think Willie Beeman on uh, any given Sunday was kind of loosely based on Dion. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. as a quarterback. The they didn't play the same I mean, position. The, 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 the way the, way the swag, the swag. Yeah, let yeah, me yeah. let me let me let me let me play this video though. As a, on murder cases and capital murder cases, man, y'all talking from up there. It's easy to say fuck y'all. Easy to say fuck Dion so and his son who driving a Rolls Royce who kid and these kids down here dropping out of school to go strip and sell pussy because they daddy don't have the money to send them because they can't eat. But he got a Rolls Royce that won't pay the parking fine. Now, keep putting it in their face. Keep showing up, putting them watches in them kids face. That's why y'all got robbed in UCLA. See, that's what I'm talking about. The Bible speaks for the least of those. Those kids up there ain't the least of those. That's why I talk about the poor nigga babies. Okay. So, can we keep it funky? Yes, sir. 
Charleston White, it sound like you a hater. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm a realist. No, because oh. you're talking about you talking about materialistic things. No, 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 no. Favor ain't fair. I'm talking. I'm talking so about. You're talking about I'm talking Shadur about. Sanders I'm talking about and, and, socialism and classism. We ain't talking about favor. No, but but, but when you put it in their face, that ain't favor because favor is meek, mild, and humble. So you mad that that Shadur? No, did, no, 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 no. Did, did, I'm, glad got, got, I'm glad they got. I'm glad they got robbed. Cartier, I'm uh, glad they got robbed. I'm, yeah, I'm glad they got robbed. Nah, I'm glad. See, every, I'm glad. I'm glad every school he went to, he done been robbed. That's cooning. <laughs> no, it ain't. That's cooning. No, it ain't. Because you bring it. So, see, see, because hey, why I say that's cooning was... is you turning your story and your beliefs using your platform to tear down a person who's bringing notoriety to something that wasn't that wasn't there. Well, they well they using their platform to tear down the black school by not giving them the light. But because you, the black school had, this is what I'm saying, black people for the last two years when he was at Jackson State, y'all was HBCU hashtagging. I'm talking- I will give him that. I will give him that. Niggas was all on HBCUs. Now this year, Jackson State, nobody, I didn't hear none of these niggas mention Jackson State. You heard and about Hugh Jackson, you, you heard about Hugh yeah, Jackson, yeah, Grandma State, he got fired. Yeah, yeah. Remember I told you about all these channels that cover college, I mean, cover Colorado football every day. I'm talking about five, six videos a day. These dudes is eating. They getting money on YouTube. To pay their bills, they they making new three, four, five, ten million dollars. I mean, ten thousand dollars a month off their little YouTube checks. Um, just covering Colorado, all of those guys, for the most part. Now there's some new ones that just started covering Colorado out the blue, but the majority of those guys were covering Jackson State last year. And as soon as Dion left Jackson State, they became they went from a Jackson State channel or HBCU YouTube channel to a Colorado channel overnight. Oh my, you couldn't get on the internet and not see HBCU hashtag. What happened, y'all? Y'all cooning now? What's the white man with Colorado University? Y'all cooning now? What happened to the HBCU hashtags? That's all I'm saying. What happened? I'm still HBCU hashtagging while I'm cooning. Yes, sir. And I'm still showing up at the HBCU by HBCU girl mm -hmm. and rocking it on the major platform. I don't see nobody HBCU in it like me. So who cooning? So I'm going to tell you this. You just sit up and told me that you made $40,000 in two days. Mm -hmm. And you also just told me that if you had an opportunity to make $400,000, you would take that. So the fact that I just, said, I, hold on, hold on, I, I'll let you finish. Let me just say, okay. I turned down a $5 million deal with Aiden Ross and Kick to take a half a million dollar deal with niggas. And that was dumb as shit. Um, hit the like what button, smash the like button. Smash the like button, smash it. Yeah, um, man. I mean, <laughs> I, I was coke man. Don't like Pepsi. I was coke man. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's huge, though. I, that's definitely huge. But as a so fucking millennial, I ain't see that shit. No, but like, yeah, but did the you, like, go ahead, go ahead. The, I was just saying the fact that uh, when he went to Colorado and how all the media just basically just focused everything on Colorado because of him should prove he's an A list. Celebrity. Exactly. Exactly. So yes. I'm going to lead Dion. Everything he's doing is being scrutinized, both, even if both. it's unwarranted. Offense or defense? Both. 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 
hug. Meat lovers or stuffed crust pizza? Oh, oh, oh. Want it all? Now Pizza Hut offers our lovers line toppings. Meat lovers, pepperoni lovers, or supreme. This Fine. is Pepsi Pizza Hut. Oh, this is Jerry this Jones? Is... That's Jerry Jones. Yes. Yeah. It's oh, not yeah. like yeah, he's doing. Stop. <laughs> But you gotta understand, he he, he was when you he's not selling fucking um goddamn pretzels and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's selling the big brand. I don't care what it takes. You get me the Dang, if I had 11 men like that, I could rule the world. Yeah, do you think he was a, <laughs> he was an A-list, he wasn't an A-list celebrity in his prime, or do you think he's not an A-list celebrity now? No, what I'm saying is as a Maybe as a as a, as a as a millennial, as mm-hmm. a millennial, I did not see him as an A-list celebrity until I looked back and realized. In his prime, he was the biggest deal on TV. So, like, okay. I I knew Michael Jordan in his prime was the biggest deal on TV because I used to watch like Hardwood Class. He wasn't as big as Michael Jordan. I get that. Yeah, Michael Jordan's saying. the most famous person right. in the world. <laughs> right. You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but hold on. Let me let, let let me get this guy in here. Let me get Mickey Waters. Mickey Waters, man. Did you see Dion as a a, a I say Dion was is an Dion A-plus was list. a superstar hosting Saturday Night Live, driving Lamborghinis in every commercial ever. He was like I said, he was the most popular defensive player in the league for a decade plus. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, and, 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 I, and, yeah, go when, ahead. When when Jerry Jones uh Jerry Jones said um he will do anything to get Dion Sanders. He he meant he meant that he would kill his posse and exactly. everything. He did. He, <laughs> he, did. he did. He <laughs> he did do everything. RG three and Russell Wilson have held rookies now are more dominant than ever. It's more dominant than ever. Not about, about my rookie year. Oh, did you play football? Did I play football? All kinds of leagues. The only question left is who will be the next rookie sensation? It's anybody's guess. I'm here for the combine. Jim. Leon. Saying. Castle. <laughs> Call me a little longer. See, I'm a kid. Sandcastle? Sandcastle. Looks like an ugly Dion Sanders. No idea where this kid came from, but he's really making a name for himself. There's a guy's telling about Sandcastle. How the far is on Sandcastle? He ran a 4 2. 4 2 40? You guys are free. Are you attracted to him? Obviously. We should watch the draft together. With the first pick in the 2013 NFL draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select. Leon Sandcastle. Watch the combine and draft on NFL Network. Have we ever met before? I don't think so. Because the next rookie sensation probably won't be Leon Sanders. <laughs> he looks like an ugly Dean Sanders. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, I mean, I, I get what you're saying. Trust me, I get what you're saying that you might have missed it. And and it's and it's and it's fine that you might have missed it, but Yo, I didn't miss it. Hey, and this is what this is where this is what this is where this is where we're not understanding the whole hype, the hype wagon, right? So y'all think because y'all witnessed it that these kids give a fuck about who Deion Sanders was. Nah, they do the the, the football players. No, 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 no. Why would I Travis played. Hunter go to Jackson State then, being the yeah, top like, in the country? Because he was oh, taking well, care of him. That was his, like his son. They would have took care All of him for the state too. Nah, he was he bro, was the, he, y'all bro. not hearing. No, me, you don't bro. get the number one recruit. Y'all don't hear. Y'all not hearing Jackson me, bro. State, dude. Y'all, Jackson you played, State, you played D one, man. You athlete. Y'all not hearing me, bro. Y'all not hearing me. I played. As an athlete, you know. 